Hello fellow travelers, welcome to Tebet Impact YouTube channel. My name is Winky and I will be your host. In this video, we will be talking about the latest addition to the Electro family, the Shrine Maiden Deserter turned ninja, Kuki Shinobu. Without further ado, let's get to it. Oh my, look at her. So cute yet mature. Her charm point you ask? Her ninja mask, of course! In this video, Kuki is C6, and this is her stats. Her artifact set is Tenacity of Millilith with HP Goblet and Healing Bonus Circlet. For the weapon, she is using R1 level 90 Jade Cutter. Her talent level is 1, 13, and 7. Yep, you are right. This is the healer Kuki build. We are going to talk about her other different roles later on. Alright then, let's move on to the action. So, I want to show you guys a little bit of her attack animation, which is flawless and beautiful. Her normal attack is throwing the kunai, like, how cool is that? And this is her chart attack, pretty similar with the other sword-bearing characters. Now, this is her elemental skill, a very cool electro whip. This skill reminds me a lot of Renji from Bleach. It forms some kind of protection ring that both deals damage and heals the active characters. Last one is her burst. Earth puncturing moves that send upward AOA electro damage to the enemy. Enough with the visual, let's talk number. So, Cookie can fit into many roles. You name it, healing Cookie, Tank Cookie, Elemental Reaction Cookie, and many more. Similar to Yelan, both her skill and burst scales up solely from HP, so how high her HP is very important. Her Constellation level plays a big role. I believe Constellation 4 is a good spot because of the added damage. Moreover, Constellation 6 is kinda useful. For information, this isn't gonna make Kuki become invincible, and she also only gains a little bit of EM for 60 seconds. In this part, we're gonna put her healing to the test. But before that, I want to demonstrate her distinctive C6 ability which makes her able to survive from the lethal damage. Yep, you guessed right. Including falling out of heights. How cool is that? Now, there are a couple of things that I need to inform you. Firstly, her initial skill takes up about 30% of her current HP. And when her HP falls below 50%, her healing is gonna get better. Secondly, there is about 2.5 second delay from the moment you cast her elemental skill to the actual healing to happen. As you can see here, her healing is about 4,600 to 5,100 ish. It's a very good healing, right? You can notice here that when her HP is below 50%, her healing ability is better than when her HP is more than 50%. Don't forget that this is also a crown C6 cookie. And this is her maximum healing scenario that I could think of. Hydro Resonance and Diona C6 managed to buff her healing to 7100-ish. But of course, this isn't really practical. You can fit Cookie into many teams, but I will show you my current favorites. The first one is Taser Cookie. She acts as an electro applicator and healer. The team composition usually consists of one hydro, two electro applicator, and an animal.
second one is elemental reaction Pookie. Right now, the elemental reaction to go is overload. As you can see, the team will cut through Gil Bishop HP like a butter. So freaking easy. I have a hunch that Dendro Elemental Reaction with Electro will be the next Vaporizer Melt. But we can only wait, so fingers crossed. In conclusion, Cookie is a very useful character because you can use her for many roles. So how would you build your Cookie? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking time to watch this. Please do subscribe and give a like, it will mean so much to this community. This is your host Minky, see you all travelers around!